you're about to spend 200% more on analytics. Do you know why? In the most recent CMO survey, CMOs, chief marketing officers, were asked, what is the likelihood that you're going to spend more on analytics? And across the board, every industry is likely to spend as much as 200% more in the next three years. Industries, even traditionally non-analytical industries like mining, are going to spend up to 63% more on analytics in the coming year, according to the most recent CMO survey. Yet, most analytics just kind of dumps data on their desk, our desks. They just back the truck up and pour data onto our desks. And that's not really helpful. We don't get the most important answers to our questions. What happened? Why? And what do we do about it? Braintrust Insights wants to help with our understanding line of services. We will help you understand why things happened in your data. And we do this in three different ways or three different services. Text mining, which is taking apart large quantities of unstructured text, like, say, reviews or comments or uh, blog posts and social media content to see what people say and how they say it. We all help with topic modeling, which is to try and categorize a large bo group of text. And we help with understanding and identification of things like KPIs. Let's look at a couple of examples to bring this to life. In this first case here, we have about 50,000 different conversations, long form conversations, some of them, uh, most of them from Reddit, actually, the, the Reddit winemaking forms for a winery. And we wanted to understand what when people are talking about wines what are they saying how do they talk about wines how do they describe these wines do they describe by attributes do they talk about price and value and bargains do they talk about judgments values good bad great tasty disgusting when we look at this cross correlation analysis we perform using machine learning technology we found that when people are talking about wines they are most talking about the attributes the descriptors dry sweet acidic fruity bold and much less about price and much less about the judgment of whether a wine is good or bad. And so in providing this guidance to, uh, to the wine company, we were able to say, here's what you should focus on in your content marketing strategy, in your customer service strategy, in your engagement with and building loyalty with customers. Focus on these things because these are the things that will help you communicate in a way that resonates with your customers. Let's look at the topic modeling next. Using IBM Watson, we pulled in uh, over 300,000 conversations about a popular buzzword of the day, digital transformation. Everybody loves digital transformation. What does it actually mean? It's a very, very buzzy buzzword. It could mean a whole bunch of things. With Watson, we took apart these hundreds of thousands of conversations and said what's in the box help categorize these things and what we found out is that digital transformation is technology it's cloud it is analytics it is security and these tell us what the topics of conversation are about what the common language is so when we're advising our customers and our partners hey if you want to talk about digital transformation you've got to check the box on these five areas in order to be seen as credible Alternately, when we look inside the box, the topic model, we see there are very tiny subjects like hybrid cloud, for example, that not a lot of people are talking about. So if we want to provide this guidance again to our partners and customers, if you want to differentiate yourself in the conversation, you've got to check the box on the big pillars to be seen as credible. And then you focus in on something like hybrid cloud or industrial internet of things because these are the things that people are not talking about a whole bunch. So again, we can find those opportunities where we can align and then differentiate. In our third case study, we wanted to understand how to pull apart different metrics. Very rarely does any one number, any one KPI contain the full story. Most often, when we're looking at and analyzing KPIs, there are a number of variables, some strong relationships, some weak, that contribute to those variables. So in this example, we took a very popular social media metric, retweets, and said, what drives retweets? It's not just one thing. It's a whole combination of things from impressions, engagements, and so on and so forth. And with this, it gives us a formula for testing what combination of variables should we be doing in order to maximize the value and, and create the outcome we want.
Now, this is a very lightweight social media example, but you can see how it would apply to things like sales, what drives your daily revenues, what drives your shopping cart fills, what drives your lead form fills, and what drives your demo requests if you're a B2B company, what drives traffic to your website. Any KPI that we've decided is important that we have P&L responsibility for, we want to be able to pull apart and understand the drivers, the contributors that make that KPI happen, and then go and test them. So with our understanding suite of services, we can take your data, mine it, model it, and identify the most important things that will help you prove your value, your business impact, will help make you money, save money, and save time in your marketing and your operations. If you're interested, please get in touch with us. You can just fill out the form below. Thanks for watching.